Hey guys, George Floor Parks After Dark. Hey, welcome to Lion King. We are here at Art of Animation, and as you all know, it's made by four different lands, and we are going to show you the Lion King section. So, we all know Rafiki, who just blesses Simba and starts the whole thing. And I'll show you the sides of the buildings have elephants painted in the trees and, and giraffes, and kind of gives you that immersive feel. In here, there's a lot heavier vegetation and foliage and a lot more shade like the jungle. And let's show you the star of the show. And I believe this is Pride Rock, so we're gonna turn. We may not get too much sun. And there's Simba. We're guessing Simba? That's Mufasa. That's Mufasa. That's Mufasa. Okay, the partners in crime are back over there. That's Mufasa on Pride Rock. Looking over, remember he says, anywhere the light hits is theirs to command. <laughs> so let's go head through. So we've seen Rafiki, we've seen Mufasa. Okay. Where, oh where, is Simba and his friends? Hmm. Let's go find him. Wait, I think I found him. So guys, if you were to ask me my favorite Disney oversized figure, it's this. It is a huge log, broken tree. Look at that detail right there. With the log flopped over and Simba, Pua and Simone. Simone walking across the country. So that is just amazing. Hello, squirrel. And there's a squirrel at my feet. So I'm going to come back here. Now, I want to get real close to this, but it's check in time. So we're really in the way. <laughs> but let's go take a look. So we're going to go under it. I want to show you guys exactly this whole thing. So this separates the two buildings in the middle. Like a big old limbo. <laughs> look how it's like a big old limbo. And as you under, look at this. Right. right? Now we'll pivot. And we'll come back. And there they are they're back. So that's just really done well. And then to get into the buildings, they have the trees and it goes all the way up. That's really neat. But there's other characters in Lion King. They're the bad oh. guys. Let's go find them. So you come in, you got Rafiki, who kind of kicks off things. You got Mufasa, you got Simba and his boys. But in the elephant graveyard, there's some bad guys. You never want to go to an elephant graveyard. Now this is a play area, so it's going to be a little more populated, but let's show you guys anyway. So literally just, you turn the corner, boom. You're here. You're in it. So this, the yellow graveyard, and if you look around the top, there's all the hyenas. How awesome is that? So that's the hyenas, and then what it is, really a play area. So this is soft, and you go in and out through the tunnels, through the trunks and through the ribs, and then these guys are just waiting to pounce. Look at this guy. He's eyeballing all these kids like any minute now and get me a snack. And there's a scout looking at him. And he's already drooling and salivating. Look at him. So, that's it. And then there's some of the tunnels that go through. But we're still missing one main character. So as we come around this way, look what we find. It's Scar. Scar by far. No pun intended. It's probably one of the worst bad guys oh my God, two squirrels. in all of Disney. Why? Because he try he kills Mufasa. Kills his own brother. He try he kills his own brother. He tries to kill Simba, and he has no remorse all the way to the end when he dies. None. It is, and then in Lion King two, he comes back from. Isn't his ghost come back and haunt him or something? A lion guard. A lion guard. Sorry, I'm mixing up all my lion things. 
depth of that scar. So, and then they had the bamboo, and then this is just what it really looks like. So it gives you the feel where, where Cars Land, where we were and other places that we've seen are open. It gives you a sense of kind of closed in, the trees are over, growing over, and so it kind of feels like you get a little more lost in it. And then kind of all the foliage. So yeah, lying, the Lion King section does feel a little smaller. Would you guys agree? Yeah. But it's the detail here really blows me away. So guys, listen, this is Jersey Floor Parks After Dark. I got, where's Azu? Wait a minute, where? We miss Azu? Hold on guys. I was about to sign off and we miss Azu. Zazu is Simba's moral compass. Yep. He's the one who tries to keep Simba out of trouble. Does a really bad job of it, but he tries. And look at him, his disapproving look. He knows Simba's doing something he shouldn't be doing, like crossing a log, and he's not happy. He's watching you. He's watching all of you. So with that said, guys, it's George Florida Parks after I listen. Like and subscribe. By subscribing, you tell us exactly what you want us to do, and we will do more and more of what you guys pick. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, let us know. But thank you so much for your support, and you guys take care. Have a great day.